G'day, it's Rob here. Um, I'm having another spell of bad weather, so I thought I'd do another video. So, um, this one's going to be about everybody's favourite, the old vice grip pliers. I mean, everybody in the world must have a pair of these things. They're everywhere. And uh, they're one of the most useful gadgets you can have. Rough, they can clamp onto stuff and you can... Uh, pull out stuff that's uh, scored and damaged and they're pretty brutal but they're handy one of the handiest things you can have now you can actually uh, make these even more useful and uh, what you can do is you can actually buy a slide hammer attachment which basically replaces this, the adjuster screw it screws into the end of the of the locking pliers and you can use the locking pliers to clamp onto jobs and then use the slide hammer action to wrench out the um, to wrench out the uh, nail or screw or whatever you're going to be using these things on now quite often when you when you want to pull out a screw or a, a damaged stud or uh, you name it um, Quite often you can't get a bar behind the job, uh, you risk damaging the material. Um, you have to use locking pliers and people, you know, people get their locking pliers and they, they put them on and then they, whoops, and then they get the old hammer and start whack, 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 belting away. It does the job, but it's pretty damn rough and it doesn't do the pliers a lot of good either. So there is a better way and as I said, a slide hammer idea is, is a good idea. Um, and you can actually make these up yourself. And here's one I made up. And all of this is a, is a shaft, just a plain shaft, with a thread on the end, which is the same thread as the adjuster that would go into the locking pliers. So that's the adjuster screw. I've taken it out. So all this is is a big, long adjuster screw. So that's the same thread. That's Imperial, and this is an old set. Um, and you have the, basically the same configuration, but you have this big extension with the slide on it, and that's what you use to apply the, the torque, the force, to wrench out the, the nail or screw or whatever. Does it work? Well, yes, it does. It works really good. And we'll stick it in. This is a pretty worn old set of locking pliers, but they do the job. So yeah, rather than spend money, if you've got a metal lathe, jobs like this is absolute smack. I mean, if you can't make this, you might as well give up and take up cutting out paper dolls. So uh, this is the most basic job you can do on a, on a lathe. Come on, get on there. All right, that'll do. Now we'll put her on. Clamp it on. Now I have to watch that I don't knock the camera here. Also, it'll probably make the sound volume go down because of the, of the noise it makes. So, and we just get the slide and we slam it up to the end. Out, out she comes. Easy as that. So these things work pretty damn well. They're not the sort of thing you'd use all that often, but um, when the need arises, you've got it and uh, they work good. So what's involved. Well, not much at all, really. Out you come, you little devil. Right. All it is is a shaft, and that could be out of a plain piece of steel that you've reduced, or you can make, use a, a, a shaft of a smaller diamond, smaller diameter than the end, and you can weld a nut on the end to stop the hammer slide from coming off. I mean, this is where all the force is going. So you could either weld on a nut, machine it out of one piece, or you could uh, uh, put a thread on the end and screw on a nut. Either way, all you need is something that can stop that slide coming off. Um, that's the area that we'll be doing the work. Up here, all you do is put a shaft a thread a, a section on the shaft to uh, with an adjusting tip on it to emulate 
the, the screw and so that you don't lose your slide your slide off your um, your hammer when she's you know tossed in the cupboard or whatever I just drilled out a nut a plain nut to the same diameter as that knocked it on drilled through and put a little roll pin in there you can still take it off if you have to not that you would ever need to there's no real force on that that's just so that you won't lose it now there's a few things you want to know or one thing in particular you want to know about vice grip pliers and that is that they're not all the same um, depending on when they were made now this is a really old set and this has got an imperial thread this is a, a much more recent set and that's got a metric thread if you look at those pictures they're totally different but you can still make your slide hammer adapter fit both and all you do is you know, as you've got your little lathe you go a bit further and you just machine up an adapter so here's a metric adapter which screws into this and then the imperial thread which normally would go into this goes into your adapter so you're basically all you're doing is extending the length of the of the slide hammer and you've got the thread for the old and thread for the new well it's good so you can use them on both pliers now you can even go further again you can actually make an adapter with say a T, T head on it or a hook which would screw onto this and that that would then allow this to be used as just a normal basic slide hammer that you would use to get behind things and I mean that's what slide hammers were designed for some have a, uh, a coupling head a gripping head which will clamp onto stuff and um, or you can just have a hook on it which is quite handy at times just to wrench stuff off or you can even make up an adapter to go on a flywheel on a small motor stationary motor and then screw this into it and then give her a whack and knock off the flywheel a lot of things you can do so this is a very very handy bit of gear I mean I knurled this but you don't have to I mean that's just a bit of fancy rubbish I put on there but as you can see easy easy um, turning job basic materials and uh, very useful so there you go turn your old vice grip pliers into uh, super vice grip pliers and you'll be able to pull out uh, stuff with them a lot more easily you won't be knocking around your pliers and you won't be restricted with uh, you know movement get, getting the hammer in and all that you just use, it as a, use the slide hammer action it will pull out whatever you're going to use it on and it works well so there you go folks a good little project for anybody with a metal lathe get into it See you next time.